Hello guys, Tristan here back with another video and today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. Today we're going to be looking at Goblin Bikers. I love this deck so much, it's one of my favorite decks right now. And while it's not super competitively viable, it is still a lot of fun to play and I'm just going to get straight into the deck profile. Let's get started. To start off with our monsters, we're going to be playing three copies of Doug Charger. This card is great, it is the, oh, it's one of the starters, there's a lot of starters in this deck. Uh, I originally played Punk cards because there was not enough starters, there's a lot of like uh, gaps that you had to fill, um, but now that the uh, new card has been released, uh, you no longer need those, so I, I, I play Doug at three proudly, and of course we have two Gone Wild. Now playing this card is a little interesting because you can't use it to go into any of your rank three plays unless you use Grand Bash, the continuous spell. But a lot of times you can use this to link off or do whatever, but this is another great, great starter. Of course we got two Mean Merciless, one Clatter Sploder, and one Boom Mock. Really great cards. Playing this at two is great because you can summon it off of uh, Tour Guide and it's got a grave effect and I love summoning this on the opponent's turn. It's a lot of fun. I'll definitely explain uh, the combos and stuff in the test hand. Next, we're going to be playing three Tour Guide, another amazing starter. You can special summon any level three Fiend from your hand or deck. Pretty great. To help with starters and with the extenders, we got three Terror Top and one Taka Tomborg. That's great because you can special summon Terror Top from your hand uh, for basically free if you have nothing. And of course, Taka Tomborg, which is a wind. And that's great because you actually can get a lot of wins. So if you don't open Terror Top, but you get Taka Tomborg, there's still mo most likely a chance for you to summon. Taka Tomborg. Uh, and speaking of wins, we got another nice win monster. We got uh, Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. I love this card. Basically, if you don't know what it does, is if it's in your graveyard and you normal or special summon a level 3 monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, uh, but banish it and leaves the field. So that's pretty good. And if you use it for Xyz plays, it doesn't get banished. The only downside to this card is it locks you into level 3 rank 3, so you can't summon uh, Lynx after you summon this card, or after you or you can't summon uh, Gone Wild after it, so unfortunately this has to be one of the last plays that you make in your turn. And of course to help finish off the uh, extenders, we got one Psychic Tracker and one Psychic Wielder. For the hand traps we got 3 Ash, we got 3 Veiler, and of course we got 3 Nib, and lastly Two draw. I think maybe bumping draw up to three is good, uh, but basically that's just the standard like uh, hand traps for the current meta. Then we got two grand entrance. It was originally three, but I took it down to two because I just it's so easy to get to your spells and stuff, especially with Doug. And then we got two uh, grand breakout. I love this card. This card is the imperm dodge as well as a great extender, and it's got a great grave effect. And I do love that. And of course, Grand Bash. Now, I've been thinking of potentially cutting this card, but being able to normal summon an additional goblin has definitely helped me out of some tight spots. And of course, the attack boost is good, and being able to change uh, Gone Wild to a level 3 is also pretty good. So, I definitely like to keep that in the deck. And of course, to finish off spells, we got 3 E Telly. Really great. You can summon your Nan Yan, you can summon your Psychic cards, whatever you want. For the traps, we got one full armor disease and one uh, grand pileup. Now, grand pileup, I barely use this card at all, but it's still good because it lets you go into Crazy Beast during your opponent's turn, and I think in that regard it is pretty useful. But of course, we also got three imperm to round off the main deck. Let's get into the extra deck. A lot of people only play one, but I decide to play two big Gabunga right now. I love this card. This card is really great. We got one Crazy Beast. I don't play any of the other Xyz, I don't think they're very good. Then we got Xyz Armor Torpedo, Xyz Armor Fortress, and Full Armored Xyz Dark Knight Lancer. I uh, love these cards. Uh, it's great because you get uh, a steel, and you get your, your Full Armored, and you get a draw one, so really great. And you can use them uh, in tandem with your Full Armored Trap in the Grave to just go for some crazy OTK strategies. I do love it quite a bit. We then got some interruptions. We got number 75, we got number three, we got a shuriken, which I absolutely love. Sometimes I summon this during the opponent's turn with Clatter Sploder, and it, it's always good to do that because this card is a, is a great negate and it's great for OT King. And of course, we got the one Break Sword. Uh, I don't see a lot of other people playing this card, but it's basically just you know a free pop, and this is incredibly useful. I don't see why more people don't play this card. It's a good card. And of course, you got Downard, you got Zeus. And you got Full Armored Utopic Ray Lancer for your OTK uh, assist as well, because that's mainly the goal of this deck is the OTK. 
And then finally we got the links. We got one IP and then one SP. And uh, finally got an SP for myself. It's been too long, but I finally got it. It was only $10, ultra rare. For the side deck, I play three triple tactics. I play two lightning storm and one feather duster. And then I play three cosmics. Can never go wrong with cosmics. Three dark ruler and to finish off, three D barrier. Now I'm gonna do a test hand for you guys. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here is a test hand on Dueling Nexus. Uh, so we got Itali, we got Tour Guide, we got Doug, we got Nyan Nyan, and we got Taka Tomborg. I think first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually summon our Tour Guide and immediately use it to get our Mean Merciless on field. From there, we're just gonna go straight into Kabunga. We're gonna try and get another goblin in our hand. Now, we already normal summoned, so since we're searching a, uh, a goblin, and uh, we have Doug in our hand, which means we can get another spell, we should get Gone Wild, and then we can use Doug to get our Grand Bash. Let's do that now. Let's detach Mean Merciless so we can use its effect on the grave. Let's go Doug effect. We're not gonna use Kabunga because the opponent doesn't have anything. We're gonna get Grand Bash. Activate Grand Bash after that. Normal Summon without tributing. And then go Effect. We're going to Special Summon Cloud Exploder from the deck. From there we get Cloud Exploder Effect to summon back Mean Merciless from the Graveyard. Boom. And uh, there now we've just swarmed the field with level 3. So now we're going to make Gone Wild level 3. There we go. So now that Gone Wild's level 3, we're going to use it and we're going to use the Mean Merciless to go into Xyz Armor Torpedo. Now this is where I'm going to actually activate Itelli because I want to thin out the deck a little bit before we activate Torpedo. So let's Special Summon uh, Wielder from the deck and then go Torpedo Effect, attaching both to draw a card. Put OK draw. From there we're going to put Armor Fortress on top and then use the effect to grab our Trot. Then we're going to rank it up into the final form. Unfortunately, I don't control any wind monsters, so I can't summon Taka Tomborg, but there's a simple way to deal with that. We're going to use Wheelitter and Doug to go into Gossip Shadow. And now since we control a wind, I can special summon Taka Tomborg. And then we're going to use both of them to grab IP. Then we're going to set both Itelli and our uh, Full Armor Trap face down. And that's going to be our turn. Basically, what will happen here is on the opponent's turn, once we use our uh, Gossip Shadow uh, interruption, we're going to use it and IP to go into SP to banish a card. And then we have SP and we have our Full Armored, which we can use to summon. Hopefully, we're going to be using our uh, Cloud Explorer effect in the grave to special summon itself, and then use the other effect to summon another from the grave. So we have two monsters which we can use to Xyz summon during the opponent's turn. So that's really good. Let's do another one. Now this hand's a little bit interesting, but we got Terror Top, we got Valor, we got Tour Guide, we got Takatomborg, and e -Telly. So first thing we're going to do is going to really special summon Terror Top because we control nothing. And we're not going to use effect because unfortunately we can't use its effect to search. But we can special summon our Takatomborg. And then from there we can go into Kabunga, as usual. And we're going to go Kabunga effect and we're going to grab Doug. From here we're actually going to go ahead and almost summon our Tour Guide and use the effect to get Mean Merciless. Then we'll use Doug's effects, detaching, special, and then go Doug effects. We're gonna get Grand Breakouts because we need to clear up some space in the field. We're gonna use these two to go into our Xyz Armor Torpedo. I'm then gonna activate the effect attaching both to draw one. I'm then gonna activate Grand Breakout, tributing Doug in order to special summon a goblin from the deck. So we're gonna special summon Gone Wild in defense. Then we'll use Gone Wild to special summon Collider Splitter from the deck which will then activate to bring back Doug. From there, we'll use our Armor Torpedo to go into Fortress, search for our trap. Fortunately, we can't use Gone Wild to exceed someone because we don't have Bash, so instead we're just going to use it to go into IP. Use our Armor Fortress to go into Dark Knight Lancer. From here, we're going to use Mean Merciless Effect, attaching Special, and then finally we can use our E-Telly to summon Nyan Nyan from the deck. You will then use both of these to summon Gossip Shadow, set a card face down, and pass. Okay, so here we have a bit more of a limited hand. We have two hand traps, Valor and Droll, 
and we have our starter dog, and we have our extenders, Nyan Nyan and Buma. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to summon our dog. Use the XFX to search Grand Bash. We're going to activate Grand Bash. Since we don't have any meaningful extender, we're just going to have to use Grand Bash to uh, additional normal summon our Boomak. And then we're going to use both. They're going to Gabunga. We're going to use Gabunga's effect to search. We're going to get Doug. And then we're going to use Doug's effect to detach Boomak. Summon itself. And then we're going to go Boomak effect. Detach the material. Summon itself. And then we're going to do our torpedo play. Another veiler is not too bad. Go into our fortress, grab the trap, and then Dark Knight Lancer, set the trap, and end phase. And we'll then use Kabunga's effect to attach. Unfortunately, that's all we can do with this hand, but we do have three hand traps, all of which are pretty good. So I'd say that's a good, good one, considering the bad hand that we had. And that's going to do it for today's deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see me do more Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profiles like this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace out.